This is my first scratch-built octocopter. The arms are constructed of aluminum towel rods. These are extremely light, but they transfer vibration easily. The center plate and battery trays are made from wood. This entire center structure is suspended by rubber and cable to isolate vibration. After more testing, I will mount a Canon 6D and gimbal underneath this plate. I initially used Multistar 690 kV motors with 30 amp ESCs and 14 by 5.5 props. I ran it off four batteries in parallel to equal a 12,000 mAh 4S. It's stabilized by a DJI Wukong, which I have been having problems with lately. Each aluminum frame rod is 30 inches long. If I were to build this like a conventional octocopter, where each motor is on the same level, I would have had to make it much larger so that the props don't collide. These towel rods only come in 30 inch segments at most, so I decided to overlap the props in order to fit these large propellers. I did this by staggering the motors on either sides of the booms half are pushers and half are pullers. The first flight went well. The all-up weight is 8.8 .8 pounds or 4 kilograms. Next I decided to do a flight time test. I landed at 3.65 volts per cell which is only about 44% of the total capacity used. But even then I only got 5 minutes and 26 seconds of flight time. That's terrible considering how light the frame is, and I wasn't even carrying a camera. Next I decided to try 16 inch props on the same motors. This only extended the flight time by 22 seconds. Still, that was terrible. Then I decided to get new motors and convert to 6 cell. I bought 8 RC Timer 5010 360kV motors and 8 2350mAh3S LiPos. I wired them all together to create a 9400mAh 6S. The old 30 amp ESCs I was using only went up to 4 cell, so I got these RC Manchild 30 amp ESCs that can handle success. Surprisingly, they are much smaller and lighter than the RC Timer ones, and they have Simon K firmware. These are some very impressive ESCs. After installing the new power systems, I did a flight time test. In hover, it draws about 18 amps. I drained 58% of the battery's total capacity, but got 15.5 minutes of hover time. Still, with such a lightweight multi-rotor, I would expect more. I'm sure the thin air up here at 7,000 feet makes a difference. One theory I have is that the overlapping props cause a loss of efficiency. Coaxial systems are thought to lose about 20% efficiency, and those props overlap completely. However, the prop wash from the upper motor spins in a certain direction, and the prop wash from the lower motor spins in the opposite direction. This probably creates more thrust than if both motors were spinning in the same direction. The prop overlap on my octocopter is probably really inefficient because both the props are pushing air in the same direction, so each tip has less thrust. Later on, I'd like to build a non-overlapping frame and see if the efficiency increases. I did a flight test carrying a 5 pound weight, and it pulled 38 amps in hover. It's hard to tell how long it would have flown because the voltage sagged a lot and caused the warnings to go off early. After landing, the batteries were still at 80% of their total capacity, so I probably could have flown a lot longer. In the next few weeks, I'll mount my 6D to the bottom for some high quality aerial video, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, bye.